Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to install FS PBX on your Fusion PBX servers. FS PBX is a modern GUI for your Fusion PBX. This is what it looks like. It's built on Laravel framework in the back end and Vue.js in the front end. Many pages have been redesigned for ease of use and understanding of concepts, how to build phone systems and configure your Fusion PBX. These are just a few examples of some of the pages that have been redesigned already. And the functionality that the system has. And we're going to go ahead and proceed with the installation. Fusion PBX recommends Debian 12. I'm gonna go ahead and get a Linode machine uh, in one of my regions here. And I'm gonna pick a dedicated eight gigabyte machine so the installation runs a little faster. I'm done with configuration of the machine. I'm gonna go ahead and create my Linode now and wait for it to Propagate. I have this new server set up on my VS code now and I successfully logged into it over SSH. So we're going to go ahead and proceed with the installation of Fusion PBX. I'm going to follow official documentation here and just get it installed. Uh, by the way, if uh, you already have Fusion PBX installed uh, and it happens to be version 5.1, then you don't need to do this step. You can just uh, continue uh, later on in this video. Uh, 5.1 version is officially supported right now. Uh, it's been tested and everything's working pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, Fusion PBX is not backwards compatible. Uh, and if you upgrade yourself to 5.2, there is a possibility there's going to be some conflicts and things aren't just going to work as well. Um, I maintain my own uh, Fusion PBX fork, uh, which is based on 5.1. It's mostly unmodified. There's maybe a couple changes that I added myself. Okay, as you can see, I switched the system branch to 5.1. And don't forget to enter your switch token uh, from your SignalWire account. Okay, so now that we've done all of that, we should be able to run the install script and get Fusion and all the dependencies installed. I'm going to fast forward this installation and get to the end of this. Fusion PBX is installed now. We have a username and password here to log in with. So make sure you uh, memorize it somewhere. And uh, they also recommend to reboot the system right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do, do it right away. The system is now rebooted. Let's get its IP address. and try to log into the web interface to see if everything's working okay. HTTPS, IP address, enter as a security warning because there's no SSL certificate yet, uh, but we should be able to proceed with that without that. Okay, perfect, we have the login page. Uh, at this point, we're going to enter the credentials that Fusion PBX gave us earlier. And we're on a dashboard. So, so far, so good. At this point, we can proceed with FS PBX dashboard installation to install the modern dashboard for Fusion PBX. Before we go back to the terminal, let's make some changes to the admin user. First of all, we're going to need the email address for him. This will be required to log into the new dashboard. And we're going to select the language and time zone. All of these things are very important. Just make sure you don't miss them when you install the system for the first time. If you already have the system installed, make sure that these settings are in there before you proceed with the installation. 
back to the terminal. Let's uh, switch to our www directory. And clone the FS PBX repo in here. I created a folder free switch PBX right here in our www folder. What are we gonna do next? We're gonna put everything inside of the Fusion PBX directory into a public folder. Let's create the public folder first. And then move everything inside of Fusion PBX directory into this public folder. Let's confirm. Okay, perfect. All the files are in there. Now we're going to run the installation script. Let's switch to install directory and then run the install script from here. Once you see FSPBX logo on the screen, the installation is officially completed. We only have a couple of things to do here still. Next, we're gonna run Laravel database migration script. If this is not a brand new install for you and you already have database replication set up between multiple servers, make sure that you approach this step very carefully. You follow best practices to make sure that these tables end up on both servers without breaking your replication. I switched to the main directory and now I'm running PHP artisan migrate script. The last command we're going to run today is PHP artisan app update. It will finalize our setup. In the main folder, you will find environmental file. And by default, the app environment is set to local. You want to change it to uh, production, in production, and then you want to change the debug to false also. This way it won't output any uh, error messages right in the browser. App URL is set to the IP address. Obviously, you want to change this to your uh, domain name here. Also, session domain and synctum stateful domain. Database username and password are taken from Fusion. So if you ever change these in your system, make sure you update them as well. And lastly, uh, we do need some kind of a mailer uh, since uh, FS PBX is set up with 2FA by default. Uh, we're gonna need to receive that email somewhere. Since this is a test machine, I'm just gonna set it up with the mail trap. Let's get the host name, port, username, and password from Meltrap and enter them in the system. Host name, port's going to be 2025, and then username and password. We're also going to add the mail from address in here, otherwise, the mail is not going to go out. Mail reply to address as well. And apologies, port should be 2525. And then save the file and make sure to run PHP Artisan app update anytime you make any changes to that file. Back to the browser, let's try to log in with the email that we created earlier and the password that was provided to us. And here's the two factor challenge code. I'm going to open my MailTrap account. Let's get our verification code from the email that we just received. Here it is. You can remember yourself for seven days. I'm just going to skip this right now and verify the code. And here we are, logged into the new FSPBX dashboard.
Last thing, I recommend everybody to update your Fusion PBX menus. I'll give you an example. The menu up here is your standard menu that you've been using with Fusion PBX. It currently goes to the old page. If you notice that the style with extensions goes to the new page. So what you need to do is grab the URL that goes to the new page right here. It's gonna be slash extensions. And then go to your menu manager. A lot of you have custom menus here, so you'd have to modify your own menu, but I'm gonna show you on the default one. We're gonna find extensions right here and we're gonna change the URL. I'm gonna update that. Log out and log back in. And now if you go back to the menu and click on extensions, it's gonna to go to the new page. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, bye-bye.